<laughs> Welcome back to BDN. I'm Charlie Mahaston. I'm Isabella Wilhite. Today is Friday, February 24th, and we have student information, sports updates, and more. This, this is, is your Blue Devil, Devil News. News. Regions Bank is currently hosting a Black History Month scholarship. Seniors are encouraged to tell a story about a black American individual who has inspired change in their life. For more information, please see Ms. Del Bosco. Cafe Blue is back open for business on Thursday and Friday mornings. Teachers, the order link has been sent from the cafe's email address. Remember, do not send students to a cafe during class. They need to come before class or order for delivery. Speaking of the cafe, congrats to the culinary classes for earning a 99 on their health inspection yesterday. R.J. Lewis and Grant Haley even received special praise from the inspector. Prom tickets are still on sale at the bank and online for $55. Prices go up at for $65 at the end of the month next Tuesday, so make sure you buy yours now. NHS and Beta Club have joined together for a project. If you have any cardboard boxes, please contact Ms. Knox, Ms. Carella, or Ms. Burr. Ms. Alsop's Digital Art Design 2 class is offering design services for clubs, sports, and other organizations in need. Email Ms. Alsop with any requests for flyers, posters, or other graphics. WIDA testing is still in progress. Test participants that have completed the test will be given a pass and be allowed to return to their classrooms. Last Friday, the choir performed at the 2023 MTVA Choral Performance Assessment. Chamber Choir received a rating of excellence in performance and superior in sight reading. And Sapphire Choir received a rating of superior in performance and superior in sight reading. Sapphire will attend the ACDA State Choral Festival on Thursday, April 13th. Congrats, congratulations, everyone. Students, please ensure that you and your parents are following the proper traffic flow. Parents are not allowed to pick up students in the front of the school. All students must leave through the commons. Those are your announcements for today. We'll be back with news after this break. Hey guys, it's Noah Weiss here with your sports update. <laughs> LHS boys soccer scrimmaged Blackman yesterday and played to a 0-0 tie. Good job to the defense. They'll be back in action next Tuesday at Hendersonville for their next scrimmage. The LHS, MJ, and Green Hill hockey team took a hard loss 2-1 against Ravenwood on Wednesday to finish their campaign as the Predators Cup runner-up. Congrats to the team for their impressive year. This Saturday, the LHS baseball team will scrimmage against Central Magnets High School here at home. The scrimmage starts at noon. The girls basketball team travels to Gallatin tonight for their first round of the regional playoffs. Varsity plays at 7. The boys will host the Green Wave tomorrow night for their first round. Last night, the Preds beat the Sharks 6-2, including two goals each from Nino Nieder, Ryder, and Michael Granlund. They'll finish their road trip in Phoenix as they take on the Coyotes Sunday night. The Grizzlies took a tough loss to the 76ers last night, unable to overcome a huge 27-point and 19-rebound performance from Joel Embiid. Their next game is tomorrow night as they host the Nuggets. That's all for your sports update today. It is currently 44 degrees outside with a high of 54 and a low of 41. Our conditions right now are cloudy and chilly. Back to you guys. In some sad real world news, Mid-10 Volleyball Club and Smyrna High School senior Janae Edmondson was in a tragic accident on February 18th. She was walking back to her hotel after day one of her volleyball tournament in St. Louis and was hit by a car after it was hit by a car running a yield sign. This tragic accident resulted in critical injuries, including the amputation of both legs below the waist. Janae has received support from all over the country. The GoFundMe created to help relieve the stress of medical bills has raised over $450,000. We would love to see people wearing purple, her favorite color, to show support as she recovers. In local news, the Slow Hand Bake Shop opened today at 7 for breakfast and lunch. They're located on Greenwood Street, which is just off the square. 
That's all the news we have today. I'm Charlie May. And I'm Isabella. This has been the news to you from, from the, the White and Blue. And Blue.